everyone, for today's lesson, we're going to study the concept of fraction. Did you know that? Earth is composed of almost three parts of water and one part of land. Mr. Saldo had a bar of chocolate. He divided the chocolate bar into two equal parts for his children. He gave one part to Fred and the other part to Michael. When a whole is divided into two equal parts, one part is called one half of the whole. Since both Fred and Michael received one of two equal parts, they each receive one half of the chocolate. One half is a fraction that means one of two equal parts. One half is a fraction that means one of two equal parts. Fraction is a part of a whole. When we say one half, one is what we call the numerator, while two is what we call the denominator, and the bar between one and two is what we call the fraction bar. Is that clear? Again, the, the number at the top the fraction bar is what we call the numerator, while the number at the bottom of the fraction bar is what we call the denominator. Let's have this example. Is the rectangle divided into two parts? The two parts of the rectangle are not equal. Therefore, we do not call each part as one half. How about if we have this? This rectangle is divided into four equal parts. So that means the fraction bar has four equal parts. So each part is one part of the whole. Is that clear, children? How about if we have this? The fraction bar has blank equal parts. So how many equal parts do we have here? That's correct, we have 8 equal parts. How about this? Each part is blank of the whole. What is the fraction of each part of this whole? That's correct, we have 1 8. Each part is 1 8 of the whole. How about if we have this? Each part is blank of the whole. So what is the answer? That's correct. Each part is one-fifth the whole. How about this? Blank of the whole is shaded. How many are shaded? That's correct. Since we have one shaded part, the fraction is one-fifth. So one-fifth of the whole is shaded. How about if we have this one? Each part is one-fifth of the whole. My question is, how many are shaded, or what is the fraction of the shaded part? Let's count it together. 1, 2, 3. That means, the fraction of the shaded part is 3 6. Is that clear? Let's analyze this example. Again, since we have 3 shaded parts, the numerator is 3. While the denominator is 6 since we have 6 equal parts. When we say 3 or the numerator, numerator, it tells the number of parts taken or considered, or it is the number of shaded parts. While the denominator, the denominator is the total number of parts into which a whole is divided. Is that clear? Again, numerator tells the number of parts taken or considered, while the denominator it tells the total number of parts into which a whole is divided. How about if we have this illustration? What is the fraction? What is the fraction of the shaded parts? That's correct, children. We have one half. Since we have one shaded part and two equal parts. The fraction is one half. How about if we have this? 
What is the new narrator? Very good! Our new narrator is 7. Why 7? Because we have 7 shaded parts. How about the denominator? What is the denominator? Fantastic! It's 10! Because we have 10 equal parts. How about if we have this? What is the fraction of the red apple? Let's have the numerator first. What is our numerator here? Very good! It's 2 since we have 2 red apples. How about the denominator? Good job! It's 8 since we have 8 apples in total. How about if you have this one? What is the fraction of the yellow banana? Let's have the numerator. What is the numerator, children? That is... Very good! It's 9! How about the denominator? What is the denominator? Fantastic! It's 10 since we have 10 bananas in total. So the fraction is 9 tenths. So now, children, get your drill board. For this one, I want you to identify the fraction for the shaded part or part. Is that clear? Let's have the first number. What is the fraction of the shaded part? The answer is... Very good! It's 9 tenths. How about this one? The fraction for the shaded part is... Very good! It's two halves. Since we have two shaded parts and two equal parts, always remember children, if both numerator and denominator are the same, that means the fraction is equal to 1. Is that clear? Again, if the numerator and denominator are the same, that is equal to 1 because it is equal to 1 whole. The whole parts are shaded. Is that clear? Okay, let's have the next number. How about if you have this? The fraction for the shaded part is... The answer is perfect. <laughs> Very good, children. How about if you have this? The fraction for the shaded part is fantastic. It's seven eighths. How about if you have this one? The fraction for the shaded part is. Good job! It's two-thirds! Always remember, children, fraction is a part of a whole or a set. And numerator is the number at the top of the fraction bar, while denominator is the number at the bottom of the fraction bar. When you say numerator, it tells the number of parts taken or considered, or it is the number of shaded parts, while the denominator, it tells the total number of parts into which a whole is divided. That's all for today, children. I hope you learned something.